We bring you the latest IPR updates from the China and Southeast Asia IPR SME help desks. In an attempt to get a better grasp of the Chinese market, Google has joined forces with Tencent Holding, home to, among others, QQ Instant Messenger and WeChat. This will be done through a cross-patent licensing agreement, signifying the intent to collaborate in the future as well. This comes after Google has found a large number of its product range restricted in favor of local competitors in China and might see its services quickly expand, many used by foreign companies as well. The Beijing IP court sees a steady increase in IP-related cases, while in 2013, 15.6 thousand cases were brought before the court. In 2017, this number has doubled to 36.8 thousand. Copyright cases account for the largest share in cases since its inception, followed by trademark cases and to a lesser extent patent cases. This happens with the simultaneous decrease of the cost of IP rights enforcement in recent years and it has become more difficult and costly to infringe IP rights as well. The World Intellectual Property Day 2018 will be themed around the topic Powering Change, Women in Innovation and Creativity. Through this, the World Intellectual Property Office WIPO hopes to encourage women and girls in the field of technology while underlying the importance of IP to support innovation. EU companies expanding into Laos have found that the number of hurdles to go through has increased. The government has suspended the issuance of new business licenses for both foreign and local firms that wish to establish a legal entity. This is related to several compliance issues with already established companies. This affects mainly insurance and consultancy firms, financial institutions, mining, small hydropower plants, large agricultural projects, direct sales, as well as land concessions in Champasak, Salavan and Sekong provinces.